up everybody again this is the cover boy chronicle um this is just a part two type thing so um i was talking about the uh people's choice awards and i didn't want to get cut off that's why i was just like you know what i'm gonna do a part two and just cut it at that and i thought i was getting to the back page because i had more stuff i wanted to say and there was more things that was done that night than just that hour's worth of work Two hours, almost three. Ain't that something? Hmm. For the People's Choice Awards. This is for the people. Y'all show us love by giving us two hours of entertainment. Three performances. But that was my read in the first video. So if you want to see how deep my read goes, go back to the first one. If you are watching from the first video, I appreciate your love. Now moving on, as I was saying, I was talking about uh, the favorite... Uh, pop artist or I was getting to her the favorite pop artist was Britney Spears and surprisingly this actually kind of shocked the hell out of me because the People's Choice Awards has been around for quite some time I would say since the 90s like right early or late 90s or something of that nature and so I would think with all of Britney's you know success this wouldn't be her first People's Choice Award so, and she wouldn't be just now achieving that at such a mature age. So, I don't know. I, and and I, I like the, the work, bitch. I like that album, you know, or song. It, the album's Britney Jean. So, um, for my Britney friends out there, you know, yeah. Kudos to that. <sighs> Uh, favorite comedic um, TV actress goes to Kaylee Kuoko and uh, who she had in her her kind of the nominees like I, I could see some of the other ones but it was just like okay K Kaylee like you, you know what I'm saying you 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 do kind of have a little spunk to you honey Got a little spunk may hold it I don't know I, I picture like for the people's choice that that says something about you so just just pay attention to that darling pay attention to that um, um mm -hmm. oh! the most important thing that I wanted to read you guys about so you know that um okay for favorite dramatic TV actor. The entire list was gay. Explain that to me. Minus one, they were all gay. So why is it we're all, it, it's we're just funny. Is it we're funny to you or the fact that we can't be taken serious and we're not like five of us in the Oscars. You see what I'm saying? Like WTF. I'm just I'm I'm just trying to fi figure it out. But of course we won because we rock. Chris Coffer, shout out to you, Lee Mate, love it, happy for you. <sighs> my people, my people, my people. So I had something to say about the uh, favorite action movie star as well, Mr. Free Time Winner, Robert Downey Jr., or he won three uh, wins that night. He had three wins for the movie, and I believe it was something else. Um, but, yeah, I just, for me, I don't, uh, Iron Man, like, I, uh, the movie... I like Don Cheadle's performance. I like Robert Downey Jr. And I like some of his movies too as well. So, Iron Man though. Like, I understand it, he he was something for a lot of little kids. But he, Iron Man just doesn't do it for me. If you ask me, like, who does it for me? I, the Green Lantern. You know, I, I, I love me some, uh... I, 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 li I like Spider-Man. I like the, um, I like the um, Captain America. I freaking love me some Captain America. Uh, who else is on my list? 
I need one more before I give my just ultimate one that I just truly, truly love. Uh, oh, the Fantastic Four. I love me some Fantastic Four. They're freaking awesome. And um, my all-time favorite, Batman. Nothing tops Batman. I'd be like, forget a Superman. I was a Batman kid all the way. And I still have my little action figure as well. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just, kudos for those who liked Iron Man and was Iron Man for Halloween. I wasn't Batman. <laughs> I wasn't Robin either. Um, favorite, <laughs> favorite actress in a new TV series, Sarah, Sarah Michelle Gellar, and I think it's really because it's her return, triumphant return to uh, TV because you guys remember she was in Buffy and so I just I, I, I love the fact that she's back and I'm glad she's back with Robin Williams of anybody you know what I'm saying like I was just saying in my past one he's probably go he's probably thinking the same thing Angela Bassett's thinking it's time I get it it's time I get really like I mean he's he's I think Robin's won an Oscar to prove that that man is serious about his acting. I believe he has won an Oscar. So, I'm just saying, just kind of let you know that man's on something. So, I don't know. He may end up getting an Emmy. Who knows? Um, but, we'll be going. Favorite TV, uh, favorite network TV comedy? I thought was going to two broke girls. And you know that really made me mad, right? So guess who won? Three times in a row, I believe it was. The Big Bang Theory. Hmm. Hmm. I don't watch that show. I just, for those who do watch the, watch the Big Bang, I'm not trying to diss the Big Bang. I, I, I'm, I appreciate what it's doing for a lot of people. And I like the fact that, you know, it's, 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 it's giving us work. <laughs> so, the thing is that I, I just, I'm, I'm a two broke girl. So I, I like the diner setting. I, I just, I like it. So, I'm just move on. Favorite night, a favorite late night talk show host is Stephen Colbert, which he was in with Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Fallon, and it's tough. So go ahead, Steve, get it, <laughs> get it. Now I had something to say about the favorite humanitarian this year around. And the favorite humanitarian was very surprising. Jennifer Hudson. And this is how she got it. So she has a um a um a a I guess you can say a a, a charity. I really don't like using that word. I really think that we should we if we create a different word for charity to just give back. I'll say that. Jen, uh, Jennifer Heston has found her different way to give back. So she took her church's um, like give a toy drive or something of that nature and also their uh, thing to get children uh, school supplies around that time of the year which is, I think that's awesome as well. Um, and it's in Chicago. That's the wonderful thing. She took it from her church um, and named and like kind of gave it a little bit more of a light and named it after her nephew. And uh, may you rest in peace. Uh, that and it just I, I believe that that's a way to smile and keep every keep keep people alive. And I just I applaud her for that. So I do think that that is even though it's surprising. It's, it is if you think about it very much well deserved and I say kudos to you and your sister for coming up with this wonderful idea to give back to the com the community of Chicago because Lord knows they they need the stars that are there like Kanye West you um, you know people who are positive role models in a way I love that 
So, it's time for my top five. Now, I uh, kind of wanted to bring back some categories from my fashion police reviews when I normally give them. So, since I'm not giving you guys a fashion police review, I'm just going to go ahead and just give you my top five. And it's kind of like my must-see looks or their must-see looks of the night. Um, and I'm just going to nominate uh, five women and five men. And so I'm bringing back categories. And for the ladies, it's the ladies in the spotlight. And my ladies in the spotlight for the night of the People's Choice Awards was Miss Drew Barrymore. And I felt that her dress just made her, it's like so, it's, for me, I feel like personally, I feel like, stars need breaks when they're uh, when they're pregnant but it's nice to see them basking in it so that way they can feel like I, and I, I believe that she carries a natural pregnancy so well you know and it's just like some women it's just like it, it's it's different like it just depends on your starter but she's like a complete star she's been a star ever since she was a little kid ET she breaks at home honey so <laughs> so I think that was like a really for her and her dress and I love the way some Hollywood people pull off um, cause she's a, a very well um, Hollywood fam very well known Hollywood family so um, for me I just feel like that dress and just uh, she looks breathtaking breathtaking um, and I also think I'm going to not only am I going to uh, post the nominees but I'm also going to post the pictures of the dresses uh, of that down below. I'll try and see if I can merge them together. If I can't, oh well. So, um, <laughs> I, I want to know, to, I want y'all to know about Miss Jessica Alba because she pulled her hair back. I love Jessica Alba with her hair pulled back, but I love her with her hair just really just like down. I, I love me some Jessica Alba. Like, she's freaking awesome and I love her as an actress for me as an inspiring actor I, I would love to work for her I would or not work for her work with her um, to be like I don't know if I was in a movie with Jessica Alba what would she be she'd probably be like my bis big sister she'd probably be like my big sister real stuff I can see that but I loved her dress it was a zip up and it, it was it it with her hair pulled back, her she was beautiful. She was very beautiful. Uh, my number three would have to be Donna Craig. I believe that's her name. She had on this. I, I believe I want to say lace, but it was like it wasn't like it was like see-through material, and it blended in with her uh, skin, and it would um, it had like bur burgundy or whatnot, and it was just, the design was awesome, and, um, it was like a burgundy-ish color, so it had, it, it, it went really well with her skin tone, it looked very fabulous, she looked grand, she looked stunning, like, absolutely stunning, and I was so happy about that, and I was like, yes, and so, um, I just, I lived for her, uh, her outfit, and Sarah Michelle, uh, Geller, now, I loved her outfit and I felt that her hair just for me just did not do it and I'm one to talk I, well I did get my hair cut you know you guys like it that's like my hair cut I don't know if you guys can see it I moved back so you guys can see but yeah stop <laughs> um I liked, I, I just, I, for her to have beautiful hair, especially when it's down. Oh, my God, her hair is beautiful when it's down. But with that diamond necklace, I understand you want to accentuate that and show your neck and just, and your beautiful body and things of that nature because your dress was absolutely stunning. And it flowed and it just made you look so gorgeous and elegant. And I just don't understand, I, I just don't understand your hair. <laughs> Did not understand it. Uh, Jennifer Hudson is my number one 
And like I always say, there's a such thing as a Jennifer Hudson dress. And Jennifer Hudson pulled that dress out of her closet and said, this is the dress that I'm wearing tonight and it's going to be a wonderful spectacular thing and it was honey I'm going to clarify that for you that dress was awesome I always say that it's a Jennifer Hudson dress this is like she needs if anything the next celebrity to come out with a label that I know I'm sure people would buy Jennifer Hudson if she came out with her own just the line of dresses be, because her, the way she wears when she has certain dresses it's awesome and it's and it and it now that she's slimmed down and she's got this this beautiful new body, um, you know she loves accentuating her curves and I love the fact that when she wears her dress she looks so stunning and so um, I definitely think that if if she ever came out with a dress line a lot of people would buy it definitely. Um, now I'm going to bring back for the fellas because my fellas watch the shows too but I want to be a gentleman and do ladies first so um, the gentleman I brought back the category Dapper Dans and my Dapper Dans for that night was uh, Brad Paisley and he had on the, the uh, jean outfit and I didn't want to throw a shade to him because I did kind of say a few things about his, uh, his performance but um it wasn't to him directly, but I just, for me, like I said in the first one, I I believe that a a guy and a, a cowboy and a nice um um uh, what is that thing called and a nice uh, blazer or uh, something like a nice jacket or something of that nature with the blue jeans and the cowboy uh boots and hat. Oh my God, yes. That is like a classy cowboy, which I guess doesn't exist. <laughs> but it it would be nice to see though. You see what I'm saying? It 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 looks clean. It looks presentable. But the blue jean just it's 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 the cowboy look. So I had to put him on showing some love. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. I I really want your jacket. I, I want your jacket. I want your jacket, okay? His jacket was just so freaking hot and it just it zipped up and it just it it was really nice. I I loved it. I loved it. Just the bomb. The bomb. Um Michael B. Jordan. When I become an actor, that is a person that you are going to see me working with a lot. Because I just like I, I like him and I and I look forward I look forward to him in the near future. I look forward to, to working with that man. That is somebody I'm de bound and determined to work with. So, um, and I definitely have a project in mind for us. So, uh, his uh, his outfit, he just, he, honestly, he, I like the fact that Michael B. Jordan, he didn't have a seat. Like, I'm sure he could have had one out there with everybody, but the party was behind stage. And really, honestly, I think they need a show that is behind stage. Can I please do it? Please, since I came up with the idea. Not a lot of people like to do that. But, like, I would like to do, like, a YouTube show or whatever that case may be behind stage. If I could ever get that, you know, popular, I would so do it. <laughs> I would so cover it. And it would be, like, a backstage live while the performance is. I could talk to uh, people. And it would be really awesome. And I think that would be an awesome ticket. Something for a near the for, bleh, something for the near future for the Cowboy Chronicles. Um, speaking of which, and a bro good bromance, and I love the fact that he has a good bromance with Zac Efron. I love, and I can I say that I was one. Of, I, I felt like one of the little girls that be screaming for him at uh, when he first came out and I wasn't like that I was never like that I just like him as an actor and I can't wait to see him go up and accept his Oscar that is one person I look forward to accept hearing his Oscar speech because that man regardless of whatever goes on with him he's a damn good actor and you will never take that away from Zac Efron so I it was just just the fact that he was there and he looked great and he just looked awesome and I'm I'm really happy for Zac Efron I'm just really happy for that man but 
nobody that I was more happier than to see was Chris O'Donnell. Now, everybody's been, they've been asking, you know, who's your man crush? crush? Who's, your, who's your man crush? I have several different man crushes. If you guys want to know, if you guys want to get into the tea of my my man crushes, I I'm I'm kind of obsessed with with Chris O'Donnell. I really am. Like to me, he's just so good looking. Like he does the ruggedness, and then when he was young, when Chris O'Donnell was young, he did it for me. You want me to tell you how? Robin. <laughs> Robin. Batman and Robin, baby. That's what did it for me. So, all I got to say now is tweet the show and let me know how outrageous I was on part one and part two. Um, I hope you guys really do like the show and um, get to know that 2014 is going to be a, a spectacular year for me. So, um, new cover lovers. Coverboy Chronicles, uh, my Facebook, my like page, my uh, Twitter, my Instagram, and uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to do that one more time, like, comment, and subscribe, there we go, to the Spirit Soul Star on my YouTube channel. Okay? Alright, my loves. Have a great day.